All rolling element bearings have internal clearances. Bearing clearance is the play that exists between the rolling elements and the inner and outer races of the bearing. Bearings must have internal clearances when the machine is not operating because the races will expand with the rise in temperature that occurs when the machine is operating. Rolling element bearing clearances, or fits, are classified from C0 to C5. C0 fits exhibit very small internal clearances, and C5 fits are much looser. Most machines in industrial manufacturing utilize C3 fits. Factors that determine bearing clearances include the fit, the type of bearing, and the diameter of the shaft. With a C3 fit and a 1 inch diameter shaft, the clearance is between a half a thou and one thou. With a C3 fit and a 4 inch diameter shaft, the clearance is much larger, between a thou and two and a half thou. Because of bearing clearances, the shaft can be displaced both radially and axially. Radial clearance is the play that exists perpendicular to the shaft. Some bearings also have axial clearance, which is play that exists parallel to the shaft. As bearings wear, internal clearances get larger. This can cause erroneous shaft alignment readings. A lift check is one way to test for excessive clearances. Using a magnetic bracket, mount the dial indicator to read off the shaft to be checked. Using a pry bar and a fulcrum, apply slight pressure to lift the shaft. This lift check will reveal if you have excessive clearances.